Hey, uh, we're just a few miles outside of Gorka Bazaar right now, the main city in the district of Gorka, where the epicenter of the earthquake on April 25th hit. Uh, we're currently going to a small rural community to deliver 250 tarps, uh, about enough medicine for about 200 patients. Uh, we're lucky enough to have one of the Nepali doctor along the way with us. And this is one of the last relief trips going out uh, after now we're almost more than two weeks from the initial earthquake. Most communities have received their basic needs, a little bit of shelter and a little bit of food to get them through the monsoon season. But the question now becomes, what does a long term look like in supporting communities to rebuild? We've raised already over $12,000 with your support online, and we are so excited to put that to work. Uh, coming up in the next few months, August, September, October, we're gonna need all hands to be able to start rebuilding as many Nepali homes as possible. So look for big updates to come in the next 24 to 48 hours, and we're looking to get you as involved as we can. Thanks so much, coming to you from the Gorkha region of Western Nepal. About two weeks ago, we launched a fundraising campaign to raise money to help rebuild homes in Nepal like this one that have been completely destroyed by the earthquake that hit on April 25th. Since then, you've helped us raise already more than $12,000 to go directly to Nepali families to help rebuild. And we thank you so much for those contributions. But now we have a new ask. For those of you who wanna do more and to get more involved, we ask you to come to Nepal as we help to rebuild families' homes, we want you to be involved. So for those of you who can, for those of you who want to, come join us here in Nepal in the mountains to help rural community members rebuild their homes. This September and October, over the winter and into next year, we invite you to come join us. Fly into Kathmandu. We'll pick you up from the airport and take you directly out to the communities that we serve. Come join us. Thank you so much for all of your support. Namaste from Nepal. Good afternoon. We're really excited to be on the build site being managed by Abari, the Adobe and Bamboo Research Institute here in Nepal. We wanted to take the opportunity to explain a little bit about how rammed earth construction works. Here in Nepal, a lot of the soil has a high clay content and it's ideal for mixing together and pounding into a set of formwork or molds to make walls. It still has rebar, it still has some uh, construction methods that are used in concrete and cement block construction, but the biggest thing about this is it's made from the earth and the dirt that comes from the build site. One of the first things the team will do is they're going to try and get the science right in order to do a test block. And from that they'll be able to decipher whether or not the earth that's around this area is ideal for putting into these molds. This is a set of metal formwork costs about three to four thousand dollars US to make these and then the rest of the materials that come for the construction of a home we're gonna come from this exact site so we're really excited this is the type of technology we want to bring into building with schools and building homes this particular site is for a single mother from the village of Dulakil about 25 kilometers outside of Kathmandu and she's gonna be the benefactor of this project and it's really cool to watch it come together, especially now during the monsoon season. Come September, October, and later into the year, rammed earth will be the style of construction that volunteers are most engaged in. And their roof and other elements of the home will also have bamboo and other local timbers. So we're really excited to be learning from Abari and learning from a lot of our colleagues here in Nepal. And we're even more excited to begin these projects come September 17th in a rebuild program here in Nepal we're going to be uh, building schools and building homes with this type of construction method. So come to Nepal and come join us. Namaste.